Welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike, and I'm Sam. And today, Sam, we are going to be doing a couple of dialogues in our ABC Talk unit. It's all about asking for something. Ah, okay. What are okay. we? What are we asking for? Well, it could be a whole bunch of things. Okay. It depends on where we're going to start in our dialogue, which. That's、Part、true. A. We're going to start in a restaurant. Oh,、Ooh. asking a stranger for something—that's totally different than asking your brother or sister to pass you、yeah. the magazine over there, or asking your mom to make pancakes for、mm. breakfast.、Yes. Asking a stranger can be scary. Yeah. Are you okay at this? Are you confident? I used to really hate. Asking for anything、really? from somebody I didn't know. You were very shy. I was very shy、wow. when、okay. I was a kid. Even if we went to a restaurant and、mm -hmm. I knew what I wanted to order, right? I would still have to tell my mom and have my mom tell the waiter because I couldn't <laughs> talk to the waiter. <laughs> really?、Mm -hmm. Wow.、Yes. So they would say, "And what would you like, young lady?" And, and you I would say. Pull on my mom's shirt because I already told her. Wow! Oh, mom, go tell him. Really? What? So, what were you afraid of? Were you afraid that the waiter would laugh at you, or forget what you ordered, or kidnap you, Ooh, or I don't know? Probably the last one. No,、really? I actually really have no idea. I think、Whoa. just as a kid, I、uh -huh. was nervous to talk to well, people I didn't know. I think a lot of kids、mm. are shy, right?、Yeah. Grownups are old and. A little scary and big. When did so? What? How old were you when you were so shy like、oh, that? I mean, this probably went up to like even ten. Oh, okay. I, I was a shy kid a for shy a kid. long time. Okay. <laughs> and so, when did you become more confident? When were you able to look、Ooh. the waiter in the eye and say, "I will have a steak, sir." Probably、Something. when I took some leadership classes、oh. in school. So school helped me、Excellent. get a little bit more out of my shell. So、show. you you kind of learned how to do this better、mm -hmm. and ask for things that I actually wanted、See? or needed. Everything is possible. She was too afraid to even ask for a bowl of soup, and now she's ordering everybody around and telling、yes. everybody what to do. All right, so let's get into our dialogues. Asking for something, and hey, look at that. Part A: We are in a restaurant.、Mm. You're a professional at this. Let's check it out. Sabrina is talking to a waiter. Hi, do you need something? Hi, I can't find my waiter, and I need to ask him a question. He is in the kitchen. Can I help you with anything? Okay, as we can see, the title is asking for something, and this. Of course, is out in the world when you're going around places, shopping, traveling. You will have to talk to strangers. And part A, the good thing is we have a very common situation and a common place where you will have to ask a stranger for something. We are in a restaurant. Yes, and so a restaurant. I'm sure a lot of you already have heard this word、mm -hmm. and are kind of familiar with it, but it just means a place that you would go to eat. So most restaurants will have some kind of seating. That might be the difference between like a restaurant and maybe a food stand or a food truck, because that's something you might go up and order your food and then take it somewhere else. Whereas a restaurant, you can go in, order, sit at a table, eat there, all that kind of stuff. So this is just a building that you can go and order food. Yes, and so in this restaurant, we have two people. We have Sabrina, and we have a waiter. And Sabrina is talking to a waiter. All right, because if you're in a restaurant and you don't know the boss, you will probably be talking to a waiter 
or a waitress, or as we sometimes say today, a server, someone who brings you your food, who helps you out with any problems. The waiter will usually meet you when you sit down at the table, come over, maybe ask you your name or say their name, give you some water, give you the menus, and then when you choose your food on the menu, the waiter writes it down, tells the cook in the kitchen. The chefs or the cooks make the food. The waiter will then bring the food to your table. Waiter is usually used for a man who does this job. Waitress. For a woman and server is one of those useful words. The same job, but we can use that for both a man or a woman. But in this case, it is a man, so we will call him our waiter. And the waiter begins the dialogue by doing something that most waiters will do: welcoming you and then asking you a simple question. Hi, says the waiter. Hello. Do you need something? They might say, "Do you need anything?" Or they might also say, "Can I get you anything?" So they're basically asking if there's something they can do to help you enjoy your meal in the restaurant. Yes. And so Sabrina says, "Hi, I can't find my waiter."、Oh. So this means that she probably was talking to a different waiter、mm. before. She can't find him, so she might have flagged down this waiter and said,、mm. "Excuse me, hey, hello, over here." And now she's talking to the new waiter, and she's saying. Hi, I can't find my waiter, and I need to ask him a question.、Oh. So she would like to ask the waiter that already took her order、mm -hmm. a question. There you go. Sometimes in a big restaurant, they'll have two or three waiters, and they'll all have their own area. Maybe a few tables here for this person. A few tables there. If your waiter is not there, maybe they're in the washroom or busy somewhere else. You can ask for help from another waiter, and they can help you out. So the waiter here, he says, he, meaning Sabrina's first waiter, the one she's looking for, he is in the kitchen. Ah, that's why、mm. she can't see him. He's not in the dining area, the dining room where the people sit and eat. He's in the kitchen where the cooks make the food. He is in the kitchen. In other words, he is busy. Can I help you with anything? So this waiter is still doing a very good job. Instead of saying he is in the kitchen, please just wait, and then walking away, not super helpful. This waiter goes, well, I will do the other waiter's job. Can I help you with anything? Probably she wants a a clean spoon or some more water or to order dessert or something something simple. So that's a pretty common situation, and Sabrina did very well so far. Yes. But we've reached our break, so let's take that break, and then we will be back. Maybe you can. Could you check on my food? I ordered it a while ago. I'm very sorry about that. I will check on that for you. Thank you. Oh, before you go, could I get some more hot tea? Sure. Do you want more honey with that too? That would be great. Thanks. Okay, so we are back, and now we have Sabrina.、Mm -hmm. She is going to respond to this new waiter who's、oh. helping her out—not her original waiter, right, right, a new、right. one.、Mm -hmm. And he, the waiter just asks, "Could he help with anything?"、Yes. So she says, "Maybe you can. Could you check on my food? I ordered it a while ago."、Mm. So now we start to see what is going on. She must have ordered the food a really kind of a long time ago, and she's been waiting a while.、Mm. So she's just wondering: Is everything okay? Did they get my order? Why is it taking so long? And wants to know some answers. Yeah, if someone asks you to check on something, they're probably asking you to be careful to make sure that something that has been happening or should be happening is still happening. So she ordered the food. But there's no food, so is there a problem in the kitchen? Did the waiter forget? Did he not write it down? Or you know, whoa, what's going on? There's a situation. I need you to look into it. Well, this waiter is doing a great job. He says first, "I'm very sorry about that." 
Here he has Sabrina. She's been waiting. She's getting hungry. You know, maybe she's worried her food is just sitting there. Getting cold in the kitchen. This is not normal. This is not good. She should have her food. So that's why they say I'm sorry about that. And then I will check on that for you. All right. So this is what he will do to try to fix the problem. He will go to the kitchen, maybe find the other waiter, maybe look for the food. But he will try to solve this problem to find out where the food is. What happened to Sabrina's order? Yes, and so we have this word "order,"、hmm. and this is a word that you will see and hear a lot when you are talking at, to anybody at a restaurant. Because number one, it can be used as a verb, meaning to order your food, meaning to say this is the the menu item that I want. So you tell your waiter, "I would like the." Fish and chips, and I want a pizza, and I want a drink. So you are ordering the fish and chips. You are ordering the pizza. You are ordering the drink. So that is the verb that we use to say these are the things that I would like to have, that I would like to buy, and I would like to eat. Then we can also use it as a noun because when the server brings all your food out, they can say, "Here is your order." Here is what you ordered. Here is the food that you ordered. So these are. This is also called the order. That is another way that you can use it. So、yeah. you hear that word a lot. We can also use the same verb when we're using an app or、mm -hmm. when we're calling for a, a pizza on the phone. Any time you're asking for food, even if you're not talking, you're just. Pushing buttons or touching that big screen at、yes. the fast food, you're still ordering your food. Yes, and so Sabrina says, "Thank you." Oh, before you go, could I get some more hot tea?、Okay. So she's saying, "Thank you for going to check on the food, but also, could I get some more hot tea?" So she must have drank it all, and now she wants a refill. So she's asking for that as well. There you go. She is asking for a refill for them to fill her tea again.、Uh, and the waiter says, "Sure, yes, I can get you a refill of your hot tea after or before I check on your food." And there's a little question about that tea. Do you want more honey with that too? So apparently, Sabrina was using honey. To make her tea taste sweet instead of sugar. So let's talk about this word honey. This is a noun. It's a sweet stuff that's made by bees, and it's kind of a miracle of nature. Yeah.、Right? Bees fly around. They collect magic dust or pollen from flowers. They take it back to their hive. That sort of. Building or community where bees live, and in the process of just being bees, they also produce this sweet honey, which they use to eat, and we also use to eat. And it's very sweet. It tastes really good. It lasts forever. Yes,、right? I still have honey from a long time ago I that think, I keep thinking, why? Have, why is this still here? I'm still they, using it. They found honey in the Egyptian pyramids,、oh, which you can、that. still eat. Uh, so honey is kind of a, a miracle of nature, but most people know it just as something sweet to put on their toast or their dessert, or to put in their drinks to make them sweet instead of using sugar. And Sabrina says that would be great, thanks. And so she's saying yes, I would like honey in my tea. And also notice that she's using thanks, and this whole conversation has been very polite because that's kind of what you do when you're talking with people you don't know that well. Especially in like a restaurant, so both sides are saying thank you and please and all this kind of stuff. So there we go. Well done. We still don't know what happened to、uh, Sabrina's food. Yeah. Yeah, but at least she's got hot tea with honey, so she won't starve. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow when we'll be when we will be asking for more stuff. Yes. I don't know what stuff. Come back and join us. Sabrina is talking to a waiter. Hi, do you need something? Hi, I can't find my waiter, and I need to ask him a question. He is in the kitchen. Can I help you with anything? Maybe you can. Could you check on my food? I ordered it a while ago. I'm very sorry about that. I will check on that for you. Thank you. 
Oh, before you go, could I get some more hot tea? Sure. Do you want more honey with that too? That would be great. Thanks. Hi, I'm Tina. We're looking at this lesson's key words. The first one is restaurant. Restaurant, 名词，餐厅 There are five restaurants in this mall. 这间购物中心有五间餐厅下一个单词 waiter. Waiter, 名词，服务生 The waiter brought us the menu after we sat down. 服务生在我们坐下后递上了菜单下一个单词 order. Order, 动词，点餐 Betty ordered a hamburger and fries. Betty 点了一个汉堡和薯条。最后一个单词 honey honey 名词，蜂蜜。We put some honey in our tea. 我们在茶里加了一些蜂蜜。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，A helps B with something. A 帮 B 处理某事物。注意介系词的用法必须使用 with。我们来看看这个例句 ：Sarah helps her sister with homework every evening. Sarah 每天晚上都帮助她的妹妹做功课。下一个文法 ：A while ago， 一阵子前。A while 指的是一段时间，很为单数形式。Ago 是副词，意思是之前、以前。我们来看看这个例句。Judy left home a while ago. Judy 离开家里一段时间了。A while 也可以换成别的时间。我们来看看这个例句。Sandra bought a new car a few weeks ago. Sandra 几周前买了一台新车。最后一个文法 ：Somebody is sorry about something. 某人对某事物感到抱歉。Sorry 的意思是抱歉的。用 about 来接后面的受词，表示对于事情的结果或者是情况感到抱歉。我们来看看这个例句 ：I'm sorry about the mistake. 我对于这个错误感到抱歉。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Hello, everyone. My name is Winnie. I'm Steven. I'm Carolyn, and we're going to play Guess the Bear today. Are you guys ready? Always more than ready. Ooh, okay. Big talk. Yes. Adjective, one word. You can use the small space in bear ways to fit in more things. The dog is very bear. It figured out how to open the fridge. Clever. Whoa. Right. Yeah, you're right. You can use the small space in clever ways to fit in more things. The dog is very clever. It figured out how to open the fridge. Yeah. Okay, that was a well-earned point. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't get it. You got it. You got it. You got this next one. Noun, one word. The little boy burned his bear with the hot soup. Aww. The gum turned our bears blue. Tongue. Tongue. Oh, Carolyn. Carolyn. Yeah. Okay. The little boy burned his tongue with the hot soup. The gum turned our tongue blue. Gotta blow on that soup. Give it like a four-minute blow. Yeah. Don't don't be too、uh, eager.、Maybe、okay. He's hungry. Anyone's game now. Okay. 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 Phrase two words. The store sold not only dishes, but pots. Bear bear. We went to see Big Ben and the London Eye Bear Bear as well. Yeah. And the London what? Oh, the London Eye, the Ferris wheel. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, but ding, 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 Stephen, you got it. The store sold not only dishes but pots as well. We went to see Big Ben and the London Eye as well. It's because your eye wasn't pronounced loud enough, so Carolyn got thrown off. Okay, I am the host of Guess the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You got it.、No. I'm sorry, Carolyn, but unfortunately, it was Stephen who won. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs>